Thank you very much on a trail, right, Meskwaki Nation. <laughs> Thank you, Meskwaki Nation. And now we get down the line and check in with Iron Star. Thank you, Iron Star. Malcolm, this uh, enchilada you sent up is, man, it's delicious. I'm not going to say it's spicy or making me sweat or anything because people might think I'm jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm a free spirit, open guy, and I trust everyone. I love everyone. I love you too, Malcolm. Black Eagle, one star, brother. Aho. Now we move right on down the line here. We check in with Blazing Bear. We are to Norma, Oklahoma. Thank you very much, Blazing Bear. All right, Lightning Horse out of Farmington, New Mexico.
Thank you very much, Lightning Horse. All right, we go on to our next Zoom group, all the way from Frog Lake, Alberta, Cree Nation, Young Spirit. Thank you very much, Young Spirit. All right. Our next drum group representing the Navajo Kiowa Pueblo tribes. We take it on over here to Blue Well, right on. Gallup, New Mexico. Right on, Jake. Right on, boys. Thank you there once again. That was a uh, Blue Medicine Well. And now we go on to the Cozad Singers, Farmington, New Mexico. Cozad. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kozad. All right, sharpshooter. Thank you, Sharpshooter. All right, all the way from Muckwishes, Alberta, Iron Hill. Now we come on over to a drum group that has been here many years ago, and now some of them are the offspring of the tribe. Some of them are the kids, the nephews, the cousins. I think Adrian's still over there, though. 
Young Tribe, Six Nations, Ontario. Now we come to the final drum here on the drum order list of Jermaine Bell Singing Contest Northern Style from Apple Valley, California, Indian Hill. Hey, uh. Thank you, thank you, Indian Hill, Tyrone, boys, ahoo. I see Cheyenne Kippenberger in the house looking down again. Good to see you again, Cheyenne. I just want to let each and every one of you good people know this is Group uh, B, right? Group B tonight. And we had Group A this afternoon, and those drum groups consist of Motown, Otter Trail, The Descendants, Meskwaki Nation, Creek Confederation, Iron Star, Black Eagle, Rose Hill, Blazing Bear, Lightning Horse, Bullhorn, Young Spirit, War Thunder, Blue Medicine Well, Buck Wild, Kozad, Sharpshooter, Thunder Boys, Iron Hill, Wild Horse, Southern Slam, Showtime, Young Tribe, The Horses, and Indian Hill. That makes for a good Saturday night drum story. Ah, thank you. Yeah. Dwight Little John, we need you over. Dwight Little John, we need you over to the Grand Entry area. I believe you've been called upon to bring in our Eagle staff, Dwight Little John. Deadly. Wicked. Deadly and wicked. Sometimes I got to be careful with that camera's right on me. And, uh, you know, you have a good friend, a, a really good bro. Sometimes we call girls that are friends, not girlfriend, <clears throat> but we also call them bros. And Melanie's a good bro of mine, and she ain't scared to kind of tell me or, or uh, warn me or help me out. You know, I had, I had a little twitch here, and uh, I wasn't picking my nose. I was just kind of rubbing it to the side. But Melanie said, you're on camera, brother. Don't pick your nose. <laughs> But uh, thank you, Mel. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get started here with our grand entry, starting at Otter Trail and on down around the horn. But first and foremost, we're going to communicate with our creator. When we communicate with our creator, we give thanks and blessings, thanksgiving. As we mentioned this afternoon, we're all here once again to celebrate through song and dance. And tonight, I've been given the honor and privilege to introduce a man from the Crow Nation by, way of, uh, by the way of uh, Crow Agency, Benteen area, the Absaluga, Absaluga people, 
uh, a very uh, man uh, that has behind this uh, microphone for many years, a very distinct voice, uh, uh, announcer that has been uh, traveling throughout U.S. and Canada for many years, coming to us from the Black Lodge District. At this time, I turn the sounds on over to Mr. Dale Oldhorn. Check, check, check. Thank you very much, Ruben. I want to thank uh, my good buddy Cricket. Came up walking to me, walking up to me a while ago, and he gave me a pack of cigarettes, and he said, uh, "Make peace with our maker for us." So I accept it. And before I pray, I want to say a couple of things. And many people wonder about the native spirituality. And I can't speak for all natives. I can't speak for all indigenous people. And the only one beliefs that I know of comes from my people, the Upsaloka. My great-great-grandmother, who was known as the one with spiritual power, had said it so succinctly, it's somewhat easy to understand. She said, we have only one God, one creator. That creator created everything everything that is good and everything that is bad. That creator created everything that is good and everything that is evil. Because there's only one creator, nothing can exist outside of the creation that was made by that one great power. So we make peace with that great power stemming from the belief ways that we have. And it is said that the Creator's power comes to us through seven entities, the heavens, the heavenly bodies, the air within which we find the clouds, the mist, snow, rain, hail, sleep, fog, also thunder and lightning, the growth, the fire, the water, and all animals, including you and I. Our Creator has placed power in them, but we don't know which one or how much power. But since we don't know, we respect and revere everything of creation. And that is why when we are wear our feathers, when we wear our furs, the shells, paying homage to that great spirit that comes through those animals, the plants that we use for smudging, tobacco that we smoke, all of those things are part of this great creation and we live in a holy existence. That was what I was told by my people and I thought I'd share that because when we do pray, many people will wonder what is the meaning of their spirituality and I just thought I'd let you know what I was told. I will pray. Please join me. Look, but yet next, but yet, 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 but yet,
Brother, I want to say uh, thank you for those kind words, that prayer, and those blessings you have shared with all of us here. Once again, we want to thank our brother Dale Olhorn from Crow Agency, Montana. Who? All right. It looks like we are near our grand entry. We want to make sure that we have all of our dancers and ready in place, our staff carriers. We are blessed this year with 22 princesses vying for Miss Indian World. You are going to see come in this beautiful grand entry, my friends, along with all of our 2,000 plus registered dancers from the province of Canada throughout the U.S. of A. We are truly represented. We are blessed with tribal greatness, my friends, here throughout the whole weekend. We have waited three years to come together as one nation under this beautiful Pau Arena to reflect and showcase the tribal greatness. We are resilient Indian people. We have survived much in this world, in this country. We have our place. How about a round of applause for being here today and expressing ourselves through this beautiful gift of song and dance. Cricket, are we ready? Dancers are ready. We start things off with our beautiful grand entry all the way from uh, Apache, Oklahoma, Brother Al and Otter Trail. Whenever you're ready, we are ready for grand entry. And we're going to go four starts, flip it back and forth. Meskwaki Nation, stand by, Iron Star. Otter Trail, sing it loud and sing it proud, boys. It's powwow time, powwow time. comes the pride and honor of the Indian Nations, bringing in proudly the sacred eagle staff that has traveled across Turtle Island to many celebrations such as this, carried by the great chiefs of the days of old, the warriors, the scouts, the hunters. They searched the land far and far away. Each ceremony coming into an arena such as this to acknowledge the people, the nations of who we are. We look upon our First Nations flag with tremendous pride and honor. We want to thank our young brother Dwight Littlejohn giving us the honors tonight, carrying the sacred eagle staff. And directly behind our staff, we have 22 buying Miss Indian World Princess contestants. They are waving to the people. How about a round of applause for the Miss Indian World pageantry? Which We want to say welcome to each and every one of you beautiful young ladies. We watched you last night with your beautiful showcase and grace of talent. Later on this evening, you're going to be introduced to each and every one of them. And directly behind our uh, beautiful pageantry of Miss Indian World contestants. We're honored to have in our grand entry, the Lightning Boy Foundation Hoop Dancers. We have world champions here. We have Sean Dean, the Rats, the Intermountain All-Female Hoop Dance Champion. Shot, we have Shade Peya Young, the 2022 Teen World Champion. Matteo Yulaberry, the 2021 Virtual Hoop Dance Champion. Matteo Yulaberry, also the 2022 second place winner in the youth division. We have Lauren Yulaberry, a youth hoop dancer. We have Isaac Yulaberry, Tani Todd hoop dancer. Therese Yulaberry, a youth hoop dancer.
dancer. They are all students of the world-renowned hoop dancer, a mentor, the late Nakota Lorenz, a nine-time world champion and the Gathering of Nations hoop dance champion. Ho ho! Let's give these hoop dancers, these young people, a big round of applause. And now as we carry it on, we take it on over to the Meskwaki Nation singers by way of Tama Iowa. Meskwa Aki Hukka Power Time. We'd like to welcome all of our premier Golden Age men dancers. Our men traditional Northern style, Southern style straight boys, grass dancers, chicken dancers, Apsalaka, our Seneca tribal people, five nations, our men's fancy feather. Gentlemen, these are the heavyweights of Pow Wow Highway, golden age men. Welcome, boys, welcome. Okay. This is a beautiful song for beautiful people. You are looking at Native Pride Nationwide 2022. What a lineup of song and dance. Dennis. Back to the Lightning Boy Foundation Hoop Dancers. These hoop dancers are from the Pueblo of Pawakee. Santa Clara Pueblo, Taos Pueblo, Nambi Pueblo. Beautiful young hoop dancers representing the people. Yeah. Nice vest, Michael, nice vest. Stand by, boys, Iron Star, as we bring in our golden age, our senior women, our women's jingle. Welcome, ladies. Welcome. Hey, hey, Moving on over to Iron Star. Welcoming into the grand entry, leading our dancers, we welcome in Ron Eagle Chasing. Good to see you, Ron. See my former business administration advisor from Haskell Indian Nations University, Miss Frenda Flying Man. Welcome, Frenda. Beba, it's Beba. Chief Littlefoot's in the house, Wee Man. Welcome, Katsi. Welcome, Akasi Aredo. Yeah. We have our champion jinglers from Indian country, U.S. and Canada, all the way from Red Pheasant, Saskatchewan. Welcome, ladies. Welcome, 
traditional dancers, dancer style, winter hawk style, Mandarin Andy. <laughs> Welcoming in all of our jinglers, representing Cooley Dam, representing the Northwest Colville. Welcome, ladies, welcome. We'd like to welcome in the beautiful, lovely women jingle dress dancers, man. They can hear the jingles right now. All the way down the road in Santa Fe, they can hear those jingles. We'd like to welcome all of our beautiful, lovely women, traditional, that wear the proud buckskin dress. They dance in honor and beauty and pride. And as we move along once again, we take it on over to the Iron Star Singers. San Felipe Pueblo Nation. <laughs> Do we have any Pueblos in the house tonight? Let me hear ya. Do we have any Navajo Dene people in the house? Hucha, hucha. Do we have any Muscularo Apache in the house? Do we have any Northern Cheyenne in the house? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Peba, peba. Aha, do we have any Anishinaabe Ojibwe in the house? Do we have any Coast Salish in the house? Yeah, I see you, Shadi. Do we have any Lakota, Dakota, Nakota in the house? Do we have any Adina Shoni in the house? Just Dennis. My friends are listening to the most beautiful song you'll ever hear across the land. It's a song of honor and pride that our ancestors and forefathers have left to us. A gift to carry on this beautiful way of life through song and dance. Elder Kirky, how about a round of applause one more time, warm it up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Stand Six. by, Blazing Bear, stand by. Six car. Once again, my friends, do we have anybody from the Cree Nation in the house? Do we have anybody from the Absolica Nation in the house? Just still. We have any Cheyenne Arapaho in the house? We got Governor Wassene right up here on the stage. We got Gabriel Scabby, too, represented. Ahu, brother, ahu. Make the best of it, dancers, man. We got a lot of dancers, but just take your time, have a good time, and just make the best of that dance floor. You know what to do. Do we have any black feet represented? Api Baskani. Comanche in the house? Do we have any Kiowa in the house? Do we have any Ho Chunks in the house? Do we have any Onondaga in the house? Yay! Any Mohawks? 
Oneida, Cayuga, Anondawaka, Tuscarora, Hi. What, yeah. what about what about the Bishop Paiute Manahu? Do we have any Oklahoma Sooners in the house? Do we have any Texas A&M in the house? Well, go home. Any Kansas Jayhawks in the house? We're listening to the sounds of Blazing Bear. Blazing Bear, blaze it up, boys, blaze it. Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe all of our dancers are in the arena. We are all in standby order trail. One more time, let's have a big round of applause. Put your hands together and show them some love. Oh, man. Speaking of love, we're going to come on down here to order trail, Al. Good to see you, brother. And uh, we're going to be calling upon Mr. Santos and the boys sitting around Otter Trail to render the appropriate song in tandem of our national anthem. Protocols we have throughout U.S. and Canada and Indian country for our Eagle staff and what it represents for all nations, First Nations people. Otter Trail, if you would please, flag song, honor song for our Eagle staff. Father to son, mother to daughter.
Thank you very much, Brother Al and Otter Trail, for sharing that beautiful flag song. And now at this time, Mike Runner, we need you over to the Meskwaki Nation from Tama, Iowa. We're going to sing a song we call a victory song. We have much to celebrate today, my friends. We have come a long way to be here. We have fought many battles, our people, in the past. We faced the federal government and defied them to retain our language and these songs you are hearing at this time and the dances you have witnessed. So let us all come together in this beautiful circle as we listen to this song and we dance in victory to celebrate all that's happened from the past, the battles that have taken place before we served this country from World War I, II, Korea, Vietnam, Desert Storm, Afghanistan, Iraq. We fought in the systems to protect what we have, and we will always preserve this beautiful way of life. So let us celebrate in this beautiful victory song. Meskwaki Nation, nug em up, boys, whenever you're ready. our elders, ancestors. They have a long message, an old message. It's in our blood. Love your nation. Love your nation. Dance hard, dancers. Smile. Ho -ho. Dance hard, dance hard. Thank you, Ms. Kwaki Nation. Thank you, singers. Thank you. And now this time, I'd like to call forth Dwight Littlejohn, coming to us by way of uh, Ontario, Canada, I do believe. Is it Man Manitoba? Rose River, right? Rose River, Man Manitoba. That's right. I thought it was Ontario. Lisa Meech is going to get mad because I said Ontario. And now at this time, we'd like everybody in the dance floor to look to your neighbor and uh, go ahead and handshake. We can, we can fist bump and handshake now. Shake hands with your neighbor. Look to the person to your left. Shake hands with your neighbor. Give him an aho. Aho. All right, dancers, you are excused off the dance floor. And also at this time, we want you to look to the person to your right and give them a big kiss. Hey. That's their mother-in-law. Look to the person to your right and say, hey. Look to the person to your left and say, wah. <laughs> wah. I thought, I thought you were going to say, not wow. even. Not even. <laughs> wow. 
Not even. Wow. At this time, while we're exiting the floor here, we also need these judges to report to Alex Alvarez or Dr. Our children are sacred to us, and when they first come into our home, we welcome them. When children are happy and feel wanted, they grow to be very, very strong. Today, we must protect our children. It does not matter what tribe we are from or where we live. We all know how important our children are to our cultures. That's why we protect them from severe illness, hospitalization, and even death from COVID by getting them vaccinated. Everyone five and older is eligible for a COVID vaccine. Also, singing judges check in with uh, Jermaine Val, Chaske LeBlanc, Elvin Nicotine, Eric Paul, Bib Wadika, Wadidika, Terry Johnson, Dwight Yellowhair, Orenzo Snyder, Dr. Snyder, Johnny Moe, and Lane Newman. Also, this uh, singing judges stand by and Lightning Horse, you'll have the honors of singing for our 70 and older women, Golden Age. Actually, I think uh, Cricket was requesting one inner tribal. One inner tribal. And, and then who is our uh, lead dancers for tonight? None? Okay, well, I get to choose some then. <clears throat> I'm, uh, Eric. Just a quick couple of announcements here. We'd like to thank our financial sponsors here, make significant contributions toward putting on Gathering of Nations 2022, our title sponsor, Ultra Health, the Albuquerque City Council of the Honeywell Corporation, UNM Health, American Airlines, Cricket Wireless, the NHTSA, Paula Casino Spa and Resort, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, Marriott Hotel of Albuquerque, Real Time Solutions, Bank of America, we thank each and every one of you. Let's give them all a big round of applause. Without them, we couldn't be putting this on. Back to you guys. Uh, thank you, James. Real quickly, we got some lost keys turning up here. There's a pink skull on it, kind of like a Mardi Gras style. Kind of looks like that penny machine I play at the casinos, but I never win. We saw in the grand entry the Lightning Boy Foundation Hoop Dancers, and we're so proud and loving of these young people. They're from the Pueblo of Pewaukee, Santa Clara Pueblo, Taos Pueblo, Nambi Pueblo. Put this on your calendar on August 6th and 7th. The Nakota Lawrence Youth Hoop Dance Championship will be in Santa Fe, right up the road. It's going to be at the Museum of Indian Arts and Culture. And these hoop dancers, some of them are world champions. We have Shandine Lawrence, a hoop dance champion. Shade Faya Young, the 2022 Teenage World Champion Hoop Dancer. She won this a month and a half ago at the World's Championships in Phoenix. We have Matteo Uliberry. He won second place in the Youth Hoop Dance World Championship in 2021. He was the Virtual Hoop Dance Championship. We also have Lauren Uliberry, Teresa Uliberry, Isaac Uliberry. They're all students, and their mentor was the late Nakota Lorenz. So put that on your calendar. We'll see you in Santa Fe. August 6th and 7th. All right. Golden Age women are elder women, 70 and over, and Lightning Horse standby, and then the uh, elder men, 70 plus. Young Spirit will come to you for that song. Real quickly, we need these judges also to come up and check in with Alex Alvarez, Sophie Pheasant, Ashley Wadidika, Marissa Mitsu, and Lisa Ewok. Fawnwood, Clifton Goodwood, Jared Brown, Marty Pinnacles, Nani Little Axe, Eric Bearspaw, Sheena Kane, Connie Starblake, and Dr. Teresa Spoonhunter, Echo Kehuen, Blake Crook, Joe Surrett, Audrey Olney, 
Kiowa Kozak, Tanya Moore, Nicole Povatea. Holy smokes, there's a second page, too. All right, thanks, Ruben. Once again, our elder women, 70 and over, please come on out, ladies, and then our elder men be standing by. Lightning Horse, you'll have the honors. Ladies and gentlemen, right after we showcase our elder 70 plus, we've got something very special I didn't realize was an agenda. We got Brother Joe Tahoney here and the Apache Crown Dancers. So right after we take care of the beautiful, lovely, golden age 70 plus, and our elder men stand by, and we're gonna be bringing Joe down. So two contest songs. Lightning Horse has the first song. Young Spirit has the second song. That's what I've got in the program, and that's coming from Linda, and I don't ever argue with Linda, ever. I just smile. You're not listening to me, Linda. You're not listening to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, in my Listen. limited, vast knowledge, I've learned two, one thing, Ruben. There's two theories about arguing with a woman, and I've found out neither one works. Okay, so if we're gonna go right into it, uh, Randy Cricket, do you just wanna excuse the juniors and teens? And what about, the, what about the Golden Age? They're contesting tonight, right? So juniors and teens are excused. Okay, juniors and teens, you are excused. You may go and, and uh, walk around outside and, and uh, well, you know what teenagers do. I bypassed all that. We also did the women's backup singing, women's backup judges. Ton, Tony Shanta, Dakota Spidal, Aaliyah Asapas, Morningstar Roberts, and Gina Hensley. I think this is Gina, right? Gina Hensley, Wisconsin Dells. Is that you, Gina? All right. I believe this is our, our elder category. This is contest, right? Is this 70 plus? Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to ask you to please stand and please rise to honor our senior elder women, 70 years and older, as they are the life givers, wisdom keepers. We stand and rise to honor our elders at this time, Lightning Horse. We call upon you for the appropriate contest song.
Big round of applause one more time. And thank you for standing. You may be seated. Hey, Randy's going to make him walk all the way over here. <laughs> Just kidding. Ruben, real quickly, I want to remind all you uh, drum judges that have been called upon. We're going to go with one more category, the elder men 70 plus. And then we're going to give you a pass for a while, but don't go far because right after that, we're going to be calling on a brother there, Joe Tahoney, and the Apache Crown Dancers. And then right after that, we're going to have introductions of Miss Indian World candidates. Vince. Hold on a minute. And then they'll finish those songs that dance. And then right after that, we'll be alerting all of you uh, men traditional standby for the first round, go round, sponsored by Talon and Jordan White Eye. Men traditional, be standing by. All right, where are you at, Jason? All right, I got one of our vendors from the Luhan building. This is one of the beauty products, Prod O's Beauty. We have CC here, the creator of it. Tell us a little bit about your product that you have. Hi, so uh, we are a Chicana and indigenous beauty brand, and we are located in the Lihuan building. And you can find our products on prados.beauty.com. Our social medias are Prados Beauty as well. So go on over there, check it out. This is a beauty makeup. They have a nice supply, a good assortment over there, ladies. So head on over and check out all the vendors and see Prados Beauty. Back to you, Vince. All right, Jason, thank you. At this time, we're going to be having all of our elder 70 plus stand by. Real quickly, Vince, we need these judges. Come and check in with Alex Clifton, Goodwill, Jared Brown, Marty Pentecost. Nani Little Axe, Connie Star Blanket, Teresa Spoon Hunter, Dr. Spoon Hunter, and Sophie Pheasant. And Jason, where are you at? Who was the voice behind, or who was the voice behind that interview? Check. You mean me? Not you. Or CC. Yeah. Prados Beauty. Yeah. All right, we're ready to go. We got the 70 plus on the dance floor. We're gonna kick it on over to Frog Lake, Alberta, ladies and gentlemen, by way of Young Spirit. Nigamuk, Nigamuk Boysik, Ekka, Ekka.
Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for the 70 plus elders? What an honor and what a sight, gentlemen. Thank you very much, Young Spirit, for that beautiful song. We're going to slow it down here a bit at this time. Arena directors, we're going to need you out here along with security. We're going to keep our arena clear at this time. Before we, we introduce our next special, I want to share something with you. You know, powwows.com, our brother Paul is right up here behind us. And I always check in with him. Since we started Grand Entry this afternoon, my friends, we've had 350,000 viewers on powwows.com. Some of the people that cannot be here, they're at home watching relatives. 96 countries online across the world. So all the people that are on powwows.com that are not here with us, whether you're at home, family members and relatives, or for those viewing us from Germany, Belgium, all over across 96 countries, how about all of us give those people that are watching right now a great big gathering of nations round of applause to all the viewers that are here on powwows.com. We are worldwide, my friends. And we say thank you and welcome for tuning in to this beautiful celebration. Craig and Randy, I believe we're going to need to get a stationary mic set up here. This gentleman, we're going to be calling out your Joe Tohoney and the Apache Crown Dancers. Both myself and Ruben have watched this performance many times from the Six Nations Mohawk country to the Rocky Boy Chippewa Cree, and we are in for a special treat. <laughs> Sorry for that intro. We got a correction. Sometimes we do that. Randy and Cricket, they want to do a quick inner tribal and then then the Miss Indian World, and then, and then the Apache Crown Dancers, and then our special. All right. A little bit of a change up, but that's okay. We can make it work. Blue Medicine Well. Whenever you're ready, boys, this is what inner tribal, they're next in the singing, so Blue Medicine Well over there, Jermaine Bell. Otter Trail and Meskwaki stand by for the Miss Indian World Princess Contestant. Once again, this is Inner Tribal. Dancers, help us out. Dancers, singers, Inner Tribal. I want to thank you for that inner tribal song. That was Blue Medicine Well. We're going to clear the arena one more time. We say thank you.
Marty. Meskwaki Nation, stand by. You're going to be singing for the Miss Indian World uh, contestants. We're going to turn things over to Beulah Sunrise, who always eloquently takes us through this special. You've seen these beautiful girls come in the grand entry. We have 22 uh, contestants vying this year. And we are going to showcase them, and uh, Beulah will make uh, introductions on each and every one of them. Right after we get through that, we're going to come back in the lineup here. Brother Joe be standing by. Once again, we're clear the arena right here, and uh, Beulah Sunrise not only does the radio show that you get to listen to throughout the week here in beautiful Albuquerque, but she always makes proper introductions of all of our beautiful contestants you've seen here, showcased at Grand Entry, and now at this time, you're going to get to meet them individually and watch them as we uh, stand by with Musquaki Nation, so we turn it over to the lovely Beulah. Thank you. How's everybody doing? Yacht, eh? Buenos dias. I mean, buenos noches. Buenas noches. How are you all? Are you doing OK? Let me, let me hear you say, yeah. You're in the burke. You're here in our, in our wonderful, wonderful team we call a CM. We used to call it the Cow Palace, hey, back in the day. But we have rodeos here and stuff. But we're having a really wonderful time here at the Gathering of Nations. I thank you all for your time. And I'd like you all to welcome our contestants for Miss Indian World 2022. Without two years of Miss Indian World, we've been uh, waiting for this moment. And we have many beautiful girls representing the United States and Canada. They will be out here doing their special dance competition. I'm gonna take a moment to uh, call one of our judges out here. We're waiting for uh, Cheyenne Brady. And uh, Cheyenne Brady, if you make your way over here, all the rest of our judges are here. And let me explain to you the dance competition for Miss Indian World, if you don't mind. Um, what the girls will be doing, there's 23 contestants all together, and they will all be out there on the floor um, at one group and then another group. And if you see them dancing something different than powwow dancing, it's not a mistake. That's what it is. They're, they're told that to express themselves to a powwow song. So this is a dance competition that showcases their dance. It may be a powwow dance, it may be a tribal dance from their own tribe or nation, or it may be some way that they want to express themselves. So some of them have brought traditional dances from their pueblos, from their villages, from their communities to, to share with you tonight. And the judges are told to judge them not on whether they're dancing powwow style to the powwow music, but that they're dancing their own style to the song that they're dancing to. So let's welcome the contestants for 2022 Miss Indian World. Everybody give them a big round of applause. Let's have them run, walk out to the floor. Welcome ladies, welcome to the arena. Ladies, come on out. Come on, you, you all can welcome them better than that. Come on. I know you have a free hand or two. All right, welcome these young ladies to the dance floor. And if we could, the next two drums in line. Okay, the invited drums, the next two invited drums, Otter Trail from Apache, Oklahoma, stand by. Otter Trail will have the first group and Meskwaki Nation from Tama, Iowa. You will have the second song. We ask you humbly if you will give us a song for our Miss Indian World. We're going to go to Otter Trail first.
Group two, if you would step back. And young ladies from group one, please make your way to the middle of the arena. Find a nice place to dance and make sure that your number is seen and that you are, your dance is seen. Spread out, everybody. Don't get close to each other. Spread out. You all should be used to social distancing by now, eh? <laughs> I'm happy to see all of you here this evening. And I'm happy to see all your wonderful faces. Some of you have masks, some don't. But it's just happy, I'm just happy to be here and I'm happy to be here with you. Okay, when the judges are being told the uh, procedure here and we have six wonderful judges. Let me introduce them to you while they're getting ready. I'd like to introduce you to Naomi Soto. She's one of our judges, Kevin Otero. Stephanie Poston, Cheyenne Brady, Cole Hunter, and Eva Encinas. Encinas. Eva Encinas. There, I said it right. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about Miss Indian World while the judges are getting ready. Uh, they, their uh, whole pageant started on Tuesday with an orientation, and then they started being briefed on all of the, all the different categories that they'll be taking part in. Wednesday, they had their personal interviews, and that was in the morning, and then they had a wonderful dinner at one of our local restaurants, a Brazilian grill, and I can't remember the name of it, but it was really good. <laughs> and then yesterday was their traditional talent presentations on Thursday, and tonight is our dance competition. All right, I think we're ready. Otter Trail from Apache, Oklahoma. Please grace us and these wonderful girls with the song, Take It Away.
Come and line up. We'll ask the judges to make their way over here and we'll have them line up. To make sure your numbers are visible. Line up on the line, ladies. There's a line out there. All right. So what did you all really think? What did you really think? Woo, all right. I'm so proud of these young ladies. Like I said, they represent uh, many, many different nations and communities throughout Indian country. And I can honestly tell you after knowing these two, all of these girls for the past two days, three days now, I can tell you that we will have a wonderful Miss Indian world. All of them are very qualified and they're all very spirited. They have wonderful senses of humor and they're really uh, humble and sweet young ladies, and I'm happy to meet all of them here at the Gathering of Nations 2022. We, made, we waited many years for this, and uh, it is many years. Two years is too long, right? Am I right? Yeah, two years is too long. So I'm glad to see all of you here, and I'm glad to see 23 ladies came out to run for Miss Indian World. All right, we're gonna let the judges have a moment to uh, mark their ballots. As I mentioned, Thursday night they had their traditional talent presentations. Some of them sh demonstrated uh, their uh, different ways of their tribes, art, food, all kinds of wonderful things, st told stories, sang songs, and uh, graced us all with some really wonderful information and also entertainment when they did present. So uh, they all did a wonderful, wonderful job. And today was their public speaking this afternoon at stage 49. And then they proceeded to be uh, photographed in the Princess uh, Royalty big group of picture that they do every year. And it was really wonderful. So I think we're, are we all good? All right, let's give them another big round of applause. Right on, they were awesome. Beautiful dancing out there. So now you see what I'm talking about. The girls either can dance whatever style that they like, and they're judged on their originality, on their, uh, their grace, poise, and, and execution of their dance. All right. Okay, so we have Meskwaki Nation from Tama, Iowa standing by. As soon as the judges are ready, I'll let them get a chance to get, get situated. And uh, we'll ask them to make sure you have your numbers and they're showing, everybody. Make sure your numbers are showing when you dance. The judges are, are looking for your numbers as well. Okay. All right. So let's go to the great Miss Kwaki Nation from Tama, Iowa. Thank you for a beautiful song.
Thank you, Meskwaki Nation. Thank you, ladies. Give them a big round of applause. Have them line up, all you ladies. Group number two for Miss Indian World. And incidentally, um, while the judges are taking a look at their numbers, make sure your numbers are visible, ladies. Face this, uh, make, yeah, yes. Make sure your numbers are visible for the judges to see. Incidentally, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm uh, Dene and Kiwa from New Mexico. That's Navajo and Santo Domingo Pueblo. Yate, Coatzi Hopa. To all of you, thank you so much for being here tonight. And I'm the host and producer of Native Music Hours. That's a native radio show that comes on every Monday night from 7 to 10 Mountain Standard Time. You can stream it live at kanw.com com or dot org, either one, you can use either one. That's K-A-N-W dot com. And that's Monday night from 7 to 10. The best in native music, Otter Trail, and Meskwaki Nation. I play them on my radio program, so I thank them for their beautiful music. Thank you. Let's give a big round of applause to the two drums who sang those beautiful songs for the young ladies. Wonderful. All right, so let me tell you what, tomorrow night after Grand Entry, that is when we're going to find out who wins the title of Miss Indian World. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. And I want you to uh, also remember these girls have come from a long way. Uh, we thank their chaperones and parents who brought them here. And uh, I thank all of their families and their uh, friends who have really made it possible for them to run in this pageant this year. And I think these, this is a brave bunch of girls. After COVID-19, everything that's happened, I think that it took a lot of guts to come out and run for Miss Indian World. So uh, let's give them all a big round of applause. Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm gonna make you clap one more time because that wasn't good enough. <laughs> I'm judging you, I'm judging you, I'm sorry. But I'm happy to be here with all of these young ladies. I'm happy to meet all of them. And our committee has been working hard since maybe two years ago to bring all of this together. So we want to thank the judges once again. Naomi Soto, Kevin Otero, Stephanie Poston, Cheyenne Brady, Cole Hunter, and Eva Insinius. Thank you all so much for, let's give the judges a big round of applause. Yeah, all right. It's a hard job. It's a hard job to judge for Miss Indian World. Now, group number one, why don't you all join group number two out there and let's uh, get a big round of applause for you. Come on, um, group number one. Come on out there with the, your group number two. And everybody in Albuquerque, New Mexico, in Tingley Coliseum, let's give these ladies a roaring big round of applause! Thank you all for your time. I invite you to listen to my radio program and I invite you more to be back here for Gathering of Nations crowning of Miss Indian World tomorrow after Grand Entry. I leave you in the caring hands of these gentlemen up here. My mentors, my helper, they help me uh, be able to MC, and I thank them very, very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause once again for Beulah Sunrise, taking us through this beautiful pageant here with our 22 uh, buying contestants. And we'll see you back here tomorrow, Beulah. I mean, you'll be around all weekend, but as promised, my friends, We'll cure the arena here, Cricket and Randy. Uh, most of you have never uh, witnessed or been part of the Apache Crown Dancers here. And I just spoke with Brother Joe. They are ready to go. And so we want to make sure everybody has a good seat there. And uh, there'll be a part. They'll invite you out and so forth. Young ones stay off to the side. But I'm very honored and privileged that we can have these individuals here once again representing the Apache Crown Dancers. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a very warm welcome for Joe Tohoni, along with the Apache Crown Dancers.
Daniel Tramper, can you make your way to the announcer stand? Daniel Tramper. Real quickly, we have some kids up there that were looking for their dad. And uh, they came to me and I said, no, I'm not your dad. Nah. But anyway, it's Maya Shabala, Bear Ghost. Can they come on down and see their dad? Yeah, those four words that you really don't want to hear when you're at a powwow. You know what I mean? Those four words. Are you my dad? Hey. But anyway. They, uh, they were looking for their dad, so thank you, that was an announcement. Back to you, Vince. <laughs> Sound man, if you could hear me, we'd have a stationary mic down on the dance floor, and if we could get that turned on. Go ahead, dear. He got a daddy named Forrest, too? Real quickly, real quickly, are they, are people allowed to take pictures? Or no? No pictures. No pictures, no recording. I thought I'd ask before we started, so thank you. Stand if you want some blessings tonight. Rise if you want to get a blessing. Be thankful. How many here woke up this morning happy to be alive? How many here happy to be Native American? Young, 
Navajo's at tonight. Where are all the Apaches at tonight? Let me hear the Pueblos tonight. <laughs> Let's get a big round of applause to the dancers, please. From my boys to the people here from the Gather Nations, thank you for inviting us. We really appreciate it. My name is Joe Dehani Jr. I'm White Mount Apache, half Navajo. Yes, I'm that guy on Facebook World. <laughs> it's been like two years, three years. Give yourself a big round of applause for being here tonight. Before we do this next song here, I want to offer my blessings to you all to have a wonderful weekend. How many of you guys want a good, good blessing for yourself? <laughs> Thank you. A lot of people ask, can Joe Dehani speak Apache? I am a proud White Mount Apache. I am a tribal member of the White Mount Apache tribe. And I am Navajo. Tachitni. Dantotene.
May you all have a wonderful evening, weekend. Treat each other with respect, kindness. I know we all have enemies because a lot of us do look good in our clothes today. But it's okay. Shake their hand and say thank you for loving my pants today. So this one is for you guys. Ready? Ahayak and Wandan Chita. Did it cheat like cold down with that is tiny or kind because down Liu was at the Yeldan Chita. Down near the cold down Tinny, he goes down on the level of the Kavanan Chita. Be on the coast down the Gotin Wallet. I saw La DJ Co. I saw La D. Kugan that is in his top. New Kai, we cut down Liu said the Kavanan Chita. There's a Bahosan similar study. D. Co. not a Kai, Co. D. that is just he down when you will come, we cut down Liu said. The power singers are the day to down one. You will come be cut down lean. Is your bahujon devil said it came on shit hot. I hear you. I saw it. I let it come on. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
Ladies and gentlemen, how about it? Warm it up one more time for Joe Tahoney and the Apache Crown Dancers. Mercy. Thank you, Brother Joe. Once again, ladies and gentlemen. Our children are sacred to us, and when they first come into our home, we welcome them. When children are happy and feel wanted, they grow to be very, very strong. Today, we must protect our children. It does not matter what tribe we are from or where we live. We all know how important our children are to our cultures. That's why we protect them from severe illness, hospitalization, and even death from COVID by getting them vaccinated. Everyone five and older is eligible for a COVID vaccine. Golden Age Northern Traditional, Golden Age Women Southern Traditional, Golden Age Men Southern Straight, women's fancy jingle and men's fancy and grass. And then uh, that's when we'll need our singing judges back in the lineup after we go through this uh, special. So we'll give them a, allow them a little bit of time here to uh, clear the arena. And then we'll ask uh, the White Eye family to stand by and we'll let you know uh, how we're gonna go through this special and what drums and so forth. But we'd like to learn at this time all of our adult men, Northern traditional. All right, once again, all of our Northern traditional that want to uh, participate in this, please come on out to the arena at this time. Check one, two, one, two. In the meantime, guys, don't forget to go over there to the west side of the Tingley and get yourself some of that official Gathering of Nations merchandise. Every day, nearly 6,000 employees in Kansas City and New Mexico come together to do work that matters at the U.S. Department of Energy's Kansas City National Security Campus, managed by Honeywell. They're dedicated to supporting our national security mission by manufacturing sophisticated mechanical, electronic, and engineered material components. Join the mission and impact the future by visiting kcnsc.doe.gov. Honor our past, be influenced by those who came before us, and rise to make a difference. It's easier than ever before to be a modern day warrior. Let's get vaccinated so we can get back to making history. We can do this. And uh, I don't want to stop. Well, let's set you up with a side gig savings goal on the US Bank mobile app. This way you can turn it into your main hustle before you know it. You're my hero, Alex. <laughs> you should see what I made for Max. Look at him. He loves it. US Bank. We'll get there together. Vehicle crashes are a leading cause of death for children under 13. 
Honor your tribal heritage by keeping your children safe. Use the right car seat, booster seat, or seat belt for your child every time. When it comes to your health, what does delivering more mean? It means delivering more of the best and brightest, the state's only academic and research-based medical center. It means delivering more for families. It means adding technology, expanding services, making medical advancements, and reaching a higher level of care. Delivering more means more area locations and more personalized services. UNM Health. Delivering more. A quick announcement, once again, the Nakota Lawrence Hoop Youth Hoop Dance Championship in Santa Fe, August 6th and 7th. And we've got some hoop dance champions who've been winning their titles at the World Championship. Dancers from Pawaki Pueblo, Santa Clara Pueblo, and Taos Pueblo, and Nambi Pueblo. Let's encourage our young people. All right, we're about ready to go here, Dennis. First of all, we want to say thank you to the committee for allowing us this time, and we'll uh, share a little bit what's taking place with you once again. I wanted to say, Buju Nishinabe, Indanan, Ewe Mane Dug, Chibigo Singh and Min, Sanogam, Jajawene Mayen, Wewene Zungan Kamada Kia Sema. It's an honor and a privilege to be asked to speak on behalf of this young man and father, along with family, relatives, and friends. Something very special here, my friends. I want to just go through it real quickly and give you a little bit of update and background. This was scheduled three years ago before we had the COVID amongst us. This special was supposed to take place. And being the way we are as Indian people, we followed and acknowledged that he'd be able to do this, which he wanted to do three years ago. And he's assembled family members, friends, and relatives here with us on this beautiful Friday evening. This young man I'm speaking of right here to my right is Talon White Eye. His Indian Anishinaabe Ojibwe Mowin is Eagle Thunder. Megazi Nimki is how we say that in our language. That is his namesake. He's from the First Nations out of Ontario. He's a public school teacher and cultural teacher at this time. And his Ojibwe Lenape Nation. Badawatomi, Jordan White Eye, that's his dad here to my left, one who brings light to the dark. From the Bekejiganon, First Nation out of Ontario. He's a native liaison worker. And my brother here to my left is a champion, traditional dancer that danced for many years. He was here in 1985. He was here as a youth dancer. In 1992, he was a head dancer at a northern drum judge, northern dance judge. In 96, he was invited from the White Eye Singers, invited drum group, and head northern drum group in 2015. And now his son is to my right, and was also called upon here to be a head youth dancer, also in 2012. Jordan and his son Talon, ceremonial leaders in the southwestern Ontario. 
They visit many communities, universities, federal correction facilities, delivering healing, wellness to Native spirituality and programming to the Anishinaabe people throughout those providences. For those of you who have worked in the corrections, prison systems, it is quite a challenge, it is quite a task that we all take on to never forget these brothers and sisters. They want to show their appreciation to the Gathering of Nations, to Derek, Lita, Melanie, for everything you've done, the unity and acceptance and love for the people and for the nations that are assembled here in this beautiful Powa Arena. And so at this time, we invite those traditional dancers. You honor this family by coming forward and participating in this beautiful dance special. We refer to these individuals as Northern Style Men Traditional. You take a look around at these dancers. They all wear a certain regalia displaying our sacred eagle feathers, the hides of our clans, the beadwork, these colors representing their tribes, their clans. We refer to them, when you hear me during Greenwich, they're the advanced warriors, the scouts, the hunters, the vision seekers. They dance a great style of dance, and this is how we've extended this because that's what both this brother right here, in his day and age, and now his son. What an honor and what an opportunity to have this before you. And so I want to say to you dancers that are here with us, I want to say on behalf of the family, Chi Miigwech, a thank you. Two songs will be coming at you. We've named off the judges he's brought here with us, the family members and relatives. At the end of these two songs, we'll ask you to remain stationary. Those judges will select four each out of this group. It'll be a big group, and we need all the arena space, and we got just the arena directors to do it, Cricket and Randy. So at the end of the song, we'll ask the dancers to remain stationary, and then those judges will come out and select two out of this group. Young Tribe will ask you to sing the first song. And also Meskwaki Nation, a straight song also. All right, looks like we are ready to go. Young Child will make your first song five starts. We're going to have uh, Talon come out on the first push-up, and then you guys know what to do on the second push-up. We'll ask you to join in as we'd like to showcase this young man and the beautiful style of dance. Let me see it. Smile. This guy has an awesome smile, my friends. All right. And he will not be competing this weekend, and he doesn't do it at home either, out of that respect to all you guests and visitors. Young Tribe, brothers, whenever you're ready, five starts. Gentlemen, good luck. First go round on this beautiful special here on behalf of Jordan and Talon, White Eye. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, here we go. Good luck and have a great time. Ah -ha
How about a round of applause for song number one? Thank you, brothers. Thank you. Miss Kwaki Nation, stand by. We're going to give our dancers a breather here, move it around. Those judges that are called upon, we got a large group here, family members, relatives, so uh, make sure you walk around wherever you need to be to have your best shot. And once again, as soon as this second song is rendered by Meskwaki Nation, we'll slow it down a bit. Wherever you end up on the dance arena there, gentlemen, we just ask you to remain stationary, and then we'll come out. Each one of those judges will be selecting four dancers. Four dancers. I believe we got about 65, 67 on the floor, and we'll get it down. 75? A couple of your cousins jumped in there, eh, Randy? All right, 75. Sounds good. This is an awesome group, my friends, a large group. And once again, we say thank you to each and every one of your dancers coming forward to honor this young man and family in such a special way for the years that they have put into this arena in the Gathering of Nations since 82 to 2022. That is something very special. One of our head uh, drum judges, Jermaine Bell, we had our meeting last night and he said something that was very striking to me. He said, I grew up in this arena as a young man. I looked at all these judges and these dancers and drummers. I respected them and here I am at my age He's a student at uh, tri uh, United Tribes Technical College, and he's here being asked to be a head singing judge. He grew up as a young man in this arena. This is all this happens. Very awesome. All right. Once again, uh, judges, uh, this will be the second song rendered by Meskwaki Nation from Tama, Iowa. And wherever you guys end up out there, gentlemen, you know what to do. Just remain stationary. Good luck. Here we go. Meskwaki Nation.
Thank you very much, Meskwaki Nation. All right, dancers, once again, if you can just remain where you're at, stationary. And those judges that we have called upon have got a lot of work. Take your time. In the meantime, uh, Dennis or Ruben, if you can let us know the upcoming categories we're going to co contest right after this special. Well, we'd like to start off with the big Indian nose contest. Azay. Does anybody have a bigger Indian nose than me? Maybe Dennis, where's it at? Stand by Golden Age Women Northern Traditional. Golden Age Women Northern Traditional will be starting us out, followed by the Golden Age Men. Golden Age Women Southern, Golden Age Men Southern Straight, Golden Age Women's Fancy and Jingle, and Golden Age Men's Fancy and Grass. This is the first go-round, my friends, and we'll finish this up tomorrow evening as we get it down to the four dancers each, which should get us at about 40, out of the respect for the large group of 75 dancers we've had here. And to all the dancers that have come out here, once again, I want to say thank you as you've honored this family in a very special way by coming forward and uh, participating in this great special. Hold on, we got four more out there. Just hold up. Don't move until we let you know. Vince, real quickly, we need the singing judges to sharpshooter, jump number 24, and also golden age women, northern traditional, be standing by. I believe Jordan's looking for one or two more. Just hold up. Jordan, is that it? Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for all of our men traditional dancers that came forward here? We say uh, miigwech to each and every one of you, a special thank you. Vince. Also, Jermaine Bell needs his northern singing judges to be standing by. Make your way on over to Sharpshooter. Meskwaki Nation stand by for one more straight song. Young Tribe. Young Tribe, change up whatever you want to sing, boys. We'll leave it up to you. You have the change up song. After these two songs, these judges will do the same thing and we'll get this group down to 20. And that 20 will compete tomorrow night in round two. So as soon as we get the handshakes exchanged right here, we'll get our 40 selected back out on the dance floor, Meskwaki Nation Standby and Young Tribe. Those will be the two final songs for tonight. And we'll get it down to 20 dancers, and then we'll have round number two and announce those champions tomorrow night. And as soon as we complete this, we're gonna kick it back to Ruben, Bart, and Linda.
Also, we want to remind everybody that Horse Nation Parade at tomorrow again at 4 p.m. sharp, second go-round. Doors here open at 10 o'clock. We had unbelievable entertainment this morning. Unbelievable talent that was here that shared a couple of the groups that sang. We have some more in store for you tomorrow morning, and they'll take us right through to the wee wee wiki hours of the morning, man. Midnight special time I'm talking about tomorrow. So bear with us. And now you see these handshakes. This is not just something uh, that's uh, convenient. This is true sportsmanship amongst all of our dancers right here. But those 40 dancers, if you can come back out in the circle, and once we reassemble you, we're going to kick it back to our two uh, final songs for this first go-round. Eugene Braverock, please make your way to announce a stand. Eugene Braverock. I see some representatives from Grand River Six Nations. I see you. But the main two, Ruben, are here. And you know what I'm talking about, Janice and Charlene. Hey. Where are they at? The Bomberries. Charlene Bomberry, man, she is the bomb, let me tell you. Hey. All right, here we're going to run this final here and conclude it for tonight with two more songs. And once again, we're going to get this group of 40 right down to 20 dancers. And that'll be uh, group number two, second go around tomorrow night. So gentlemen, it'll be the same thing. You'll get a straight song from Meskwaki Nation. And Young Tribe is going to sing whatever they want, a change up. It could be a sneak up song, a crow hop, it could be a double beat. Could be duck and dive, whatever they want to sing, that'll be the second song. All right, Cricket, Randy, I think we're ready to roll the dice. Gentlemen, this is our a group of 40. We're going to get it down to 20. Meskwaki Nation, one more time if you would, boys. Here we go. They need a mic, Vince. Where'd that microphone man go? There he is. Right there. That one. Right there. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, nephew. Nah. Just kidding. That's not my nephew. I, I believe he said, uh-huh. <laughs> All right. The nation. I'm talking about my squawky nation. Tame Iowa, boys. Here we go.
Thank you very much, Musquaki Nation. Gentlemen, that's your first song on the second go around. A short breather once again. Young Tribes stand by as they're going to be kicking out a good change up song. Right after this second song, gentlemen, once again, we'll ask you just to remain stationary. We got 40 some in this group here, and we're going to get it down to 20 that'll make the cut for the second go round tomorrow night. And at that time, we'll announce our uh, champion. Water Brigade, bring it out, man. They've earned it. All right. We're about close right here as we're going to come back over to the Young Tribe, Six Nation, Mohawk Nation Tribe here, man. First time coming down here to the Gather Nations. You'll hear the second song. And for those of you, when we say the word change up, it's appropriate song for this dance style you're about to see. And we leave it up to the singers. That's really a good thing, because sometimes we kick it and we, we tell them what they want to sing, but them drums like it when I say, you guys make the decision. All right, family's ready, judges are ready. Gentlemen, here you go, second song. Good luck, Young Tribe, whenever you're ready. How about a round again, Albuquerque? Thank you very much, Young Trap. All right, dancers, once again, we're going to ask you to remain stationary there. We got 40 plus. Judges, take your time. We're going to get 20 out of this group. That song right there that was rendered is what they referred to as a sneak up song. They charged the center of the arena on that second push up and touched the enemy. That's how strong our medicine is when they charge the center of that circle that you see them and they come back out. Great job, boys. Once again, we want to thank all of our 40 plus dancers and we're getting it right down to our finalists of 20. And tomorrow night, they'll be in the second go round. And we say thank you to each and every one of these uh, 75 plus men traditional dancers that came forward to honor Jordan and Talon in this very special way. 
And we want to say thank you to all these dancers, each and every one of them. And very shortly, we're going to kick it back to you, Ruben. What's that, Vince? Oh, thank you, Vince. Vinny, yeah. You know the late, uh, the late good striker, eh? The late Jason, he used to call you Vinny. He used to call you Vinny all the time. I like that. Sometimes he called me more than that. Nah. I know, but I got to keep it clean on the mic. <laughs> We're about down to our final right here. And we want to say a special thank you to Meskwaki Nation and Young Tribe for all four of these beautiful songs. And we want to thank the committee again and not to take too much time. Ladies and gentlemen, this will conclude this special. How about a round of applause for all of our dancers here? One more time, Albuquerque. Thank you, Powell Committee. Thank you, judges. And we're back to you, Ruben. Once again, congratulations to the top 20 and all the other dancers on the dance floor. Give them a round of applause as well. Champions out there. We need all the dance judges. Come on back in. All dance judges of Dr. Gadwa, Lillian Gadwa, as well as Alex Alvarez. Also, the singing judges report to sharpshooter of Jermaine Bell. Southern singing judges of Spud Brown report to Spud. I always wondered what his real name is. You know, I just known him as Spud. You know how you Indian, us Indians, we we like to nickname our relatives and our friends. Sometimes we call them Spud or, uh, or uh, Cruz or uh, Paco or Carburetor or Booger. Back home in Lamder, we have a, a guy named Booger Red. Yeah, I'm getting a shout out here too. And back home too, we got a, a guy named Poopsie. We call him Poopsie too, so yeah. Top 20, congratulations. You are excused until tonight's contest. We need our women's golden age, Northern traditional. Come on into the arena. I believe uh, Cricket's gonna come on around and he's uh, one squirt of uh, hand sanitizer. Give Charlene two. We'd like to give a quick shout out to uh, Grand River Champion of Champions, Power end of July, 23rd, 24th, and 25th. 23rd and 24th up there in Brantford. Yeah. Sure. It's moved to the Oswegan Speedway. Are the delegation coming down out of Toronto again, the Chinese and that bus? All right, let's get back into the swing of things. <coughs> yeah. Singing judges, Jermaine Bow, do you have them there at Sharpshooter? Dance judges, Dr. Gadwa, do you have your judges? Eric Bearspaw, Wee Man, Chief Littlefoot, where you at? We need you to come and help Jermaine judge. Those of you that don't know uh, Littlefoot, he's a he's micro wrestler, and he's also got uh, t-shirts, and he's also been traveling the circuit, wrestling, and, uh, and uh, there he goes. There he goes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thought he was running to Sandra there for a little bit. Oh, <laughs> just kidding, Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, we man. One group, one song. Do we have all of our judges ready to go? Sharp. Nope, 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 nope. Jermaine said, hold on. I got to be the guy to hold it up. I'm going to run all over here. I'm wearing my best Pee Wee Herman bow tie. Yeah, just kidding, brother. Oh, we need the women's backup singing judges. Women's backup singing judges to report to Sharpshooter. We chug. Yeah. Over there in, in Lakota country, they don't even say the whole words anymore. They just break it down. Instead of Wachaglata, they'll just say Wachag. Yeah. Instead of Bartholomew, they'll just say Bart. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Gadwa. We need uh, judges to hold your ballots up for Dr. Gadwa. A little bit higher. Kind of wave them a little bit. Wave them so she can see. We're going to get back into the swing of things here. Once we get back in, we get our judges all accounted for again. We get everybody all accounted for. And that makes uh, Randy and Cricket's job easier. Jermaine's ready to go. He's showing me you're number one. Is that right? Thank you. I'm number one. Here we go. Sharpshooter. S H A R P S H O O T R Sharpshooter. Just move around if you would. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause for the Golden Age Women Northern Traditional. Come on over this way. Line up for the judges as we bring in the Golden Age Men Northern Traditional. Singing for you, Iron Hill from Musquachis, Alberta. Also, I've been asked to announce on behalf of Dallas and Fawn Wood, 
There's one hour left to register for the hand drum contest. And uh, there's a, a few spots left. Also, Ruben, real quickly, we'd like to give a shout out and a round of applause after I finish for the Wildland Firefighters fighting fires around the country and also to the Navajo Scouts. How about a round of applause for these brave gentlemen right here, our firefighters. Each year we go through this situation and they put their stuff on the line and we say thank you to what, what you do. The Wildland Firefighters fighting fires around the area and also the Navajo Scouts. We say thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to all the MREs, meals ready to eat. Yeah. Every once in a while, there's a small little bottle of Tabasco sauce that comes in there. You know what I mean? I used to fight fire too, Bart. And uh, we used to call those ones uh, the, the lottery ones. Yeah. When you open it up and inside there's a little bottle of Tabasco sauce. <laughs> For the GIs in the house, we all start out with sea rats, sea rations. Then we got in country and we were on hilltops and we had MREs and once in a while we got Lucky and Hut Chow. And we know all about MREs and sea rats. One group, one song. Let's kick it on over to Iron Hill. Nigglebook, Marlin, basically.
Thank you, thank you. Round of applause one time. Come on over this way, gentlemen. Come on over this way, line up for the judges. Fawnwood or Dallas Wood? Yeah. Nobody caught that. Fawnwood or Dallas Weska hat? Come on up here. We have a registration for the hand drum, but I don't know where you is. That registration for the hand drum contest, we have an N uh, register up here as well. I believe that's happening at 11 o'clock. Oh. Thank you, Iron Hill. Boys, that was a good song. It gave me enough time to run to the O and back, get a cup of coffee and come back and the boys were still dancing. <laughs> that was a long song. Golden Age Women Southern Traditional Singing Judges Report to Kozad, I believe over there in that corner. Kozad, stand by. We need a Southern Singing Judges, Spud. Spud, I'm going to find out your real name. What's your real name? Spud? All right, I'm going to ask somebody that might know. I don't believe you. Dallas Waska hat and or Fawn Wood. A stum. A stum, okay. L. Southern Singing Judges report to Kozad. Right after this, we'll be calling upon the Golden Age Ben Southern Strait and Otter Trail. You'll be having that song. All right, how are we looking out there, Randy Cricket? You know, they wanted me to say something about Al Santos's hat, but you know, one thing I could say it's Bacon Warriors colors, Al. Bacon College colors, I like that hat. Real cute. All right, we're ready to go. One group, one song. Is that right? Spud Brown, how are we doing over there, nephew? Yeah, nephew. Uncle, brother? Well, I don't know about uncle. Maybe brother. Yeah. Let me know if we're ready to go. Alex, are we good to go? All right, here we go. Kozad, contest song, please.
Give these ladies a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, Koza. Man, that was a beautiful song. Those are the kind of songs that make me kind of think of the one that got away, Vince. Man. Southern straight golden age men, come on in. Otter Trail, report to your drum. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to uh, Harvey Thunderchild up there. And uh, up there in Saskatchewan somewhere. I don't really know where he's at. Is he a Thunderchild? Harvey. Also want to give a quick shout out to uh, uh, Izzy's Creations. Izzy, Native Eats and Treats. Jason uh, Smith, a while ago, came and brought me a delicious meat pie. Now instead of spam breath, I got meat pie breath. Ew, sounds like potted meat to me. Hey. Yes, sir. Golden Age Men, Southern Straight, come on in. Stand by Otter Trail. Right after this, we'll be asking our Golden Age Men, or excuse me, Golden Age Women, Fancy and Jingle, Young Thunder, followed by our Golden Age Men, Fancy and Grass, and that's going to be rendered by... Indian Hill, okay. I thought it, I thought it was going to go to Chasing Tail. Is Chasing Tail even set up this weekend? I, know. I, don't, I don't think they are. All right, Otter Trail, stand by, Al. Don't mind what Vince and Bart are saying about your hat. I still like it. Here we go. One song, one group. Otter Trail.
How about it, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, round of applause for the Golden Age Men Southern Straight. Thank you, Otter Trail. Golden Age Women, Fancy and Jingle, come on in, Young Tribe, stand by. Also, a reminder for all you people listening, what we were sharing earlier, we're asking about Dallas or Fawn if you're around. They're hosting a round dance special tomorrow at 11 o'clock sharp. If you haven't registered with the hand drum yet for that special, they'll be back in the morning, so uh, take note of that. Tomorrow morning, before Grand Entry, 11 a.m., we are going to have a round dance special by Fawn and Dallas. Uh, who? I have spoken. Uh -huh. Also, too, let it be known out there to the people that Steve Toya of Southern Slam came up to register. Uh, no sign of Dallas or Fawn. So, Southern Slam, you are in. It's over the mic. It's out there in the wavelength, in the universe. And that's because we have a little bit of some Indian pull up here. Hey. All right, Golden Age women, Jingo and Fancy, you should be on the floor. We're going to come on over to Young Tribe in about five, four, Randy, three, Cricket, two, one, Young Tribe. One more time, round of applause for the Golden Age. Fancy and Jingle, and thank you, Young Tribe. Yeah. You know, it was about 20 years ago, right, Adrian? We set up the tribe here at Gathering of Nations. We were one of the invited drums then. Wayne and Adrian and Shannon Ross and Ken Carice, Jeremy Shields, some of the OGs of the tribe. Yeah. Ruben. Yes, sir. I just wanted to give that shout out to uh, Newton and Colleen. They are with KNMQ and 
KYNM. They're broadcasting Gather of Nations live on 20.5 and the Southwest Network 21.1. This is live TV, no streaming. You go on, check it out on your TV, covering 100 square miles right around here. So I wanted to give them a shout out for that live broadcast. Back to you, Ruben. Right on, Jason, right on. You know, one time, one of the MCs mispronounced Jason's name and instead called him Jason Whitehorse. And uh, instead of correcting them, I just kind of went with it, you know, and kept calling him Whitehorse and uh, kind of made him a little bit more Indian. Ah. Yeah. Okay. The hand jump contest for Fawnwood, Dallas Wuskahat, is closed. 13 groups. Tomorrow. So I believe in between contests tomorrow, right? In between the contest tomorrow afternoon, there'll be uh, contesting, so be ready. All the drum groups, the order we're going down, we'll be calling you about being ready to go. All right. Golden Age Men, Fancy and Grass, are you there? All right, we're coming on over to Inden Hill. Singing judges, are we ready to go? All right, Inden Hill. From way up on top of the hill. You need to go like Mr. Magoo on top of the hill.
give these gentlemen a round of applause one more time. The Golden Age, Fancy and Grass. I tell you what, they still got it, man. Golden Age, Fancy and Grass, still kicking leaves. Hey. Our children are sacred to us, and when they first come into our home, we welcome them. When children are happy and feel wanted, they grow to be very, very strong. Today, we must protect our children. It does not matter what tribe we are from or where we live. We all know how important our children are to our cultures. That's why we protect them from severe illness, hospitalization, and even death from COVID by getting them vaccinated. Everyone five and older is eligible for a COVID vaccine. And then third is Southern Slam, Iron Hill, the fourth group. Number five, Young Bucks. Number six, Sharpshooter. Number seven, OG Cree. Number eight, YS Juniors. Number nine, Indian Hill. Number 10, Bullhorn. Number 11, Nation Boys. Number 12, The Descendants. Number 13, Wild Horse. And number 14, Singing Solo, Harvey Drever. Ah, uh, thank you. Before we get going on these inner travels, guys, just want to remind you to go on out there to the Pow Wow Grounds and get you guys something to drink, something to eat. There's still hot coffee, cold lemonade, Marty. awesome tacos. Believe me, I can tell you about the tacos. The Indian tacos are amazing. We also have Stage 49 going on here in just a few minutes. We got Levi Platero going to close out this first night of Gathering 2022. He is our headliner this evening. You guys got to go check him out. Don't forget to check out the main merchandise booth over here on the west side of the Tingley. As you come into the main entrance or as you are leaving, you can also get all of the CDs for all these amazing drums that you've been hearing all evening long. They are selling their music right there at the west side of the Tingley. Back to you guys, Ruben. Right on, James. You know, I don't know if it's true or not, but they said uh, if you're with your uh, girlfriend, or fiance, or your babe, or whatever. They said, don't take her to listen to Levi Platero. They make him feel all somehow. Yeah, you, you might lose her. <laughs> Inner tribal, here we go. Otter Trail, four starts. Meskwaki Nation, four starts, boys. Inner tribal number one, Otter Trail. Al, sing it loud and proud. Meskwaki Nation singing good from the hood. I uh, thank you. Spidell, good to see you, brother. Is that your lovely daughter? Oh, oh you've grown up some, man. I hope. That's Chante Waste, the pageant dad. All right, I love it. Hey, I need to start working out again myself. Indian Hill, stand by, Inner Tribal.
Thank you very much, Honor Trail O'Rad. Indian Hill stand by because we've got to judge one of our invite drums. We'll come back to Musquaki Nation for our contest song. So this is why we're making the switcheroo. But in the meantime, all of our brothers from California, all the way from Cali, Indian Hill singers, if you'd help us out one more time, brothers, here we go. Last inner tribal. Don't miss out on this. Come on down, and then we're going to clear the floor one more time. So Indian Hill, whenever you're ready. Singing judges, northern singing judges over to Meskwaki Nation, and men chicken dancers stand by. Denny, good to see you. It's good to see nephew Vincent Short David Ahe nephew Hey not that sacred violet two fans Once again, thank you very much, Indian Hill. All right. Dancers, spectators, thank you. And we're going to clear the arena one more time. Real quickly, Vince, I got a couple t-shirts to award some inter-tribal dance champions. It's always good to see John John taking it live. John, come on up. I got a shirt for you. Also, Sade Johnson. Sade from Coast Salish, British Columbia. These two dancers exemplify what it means to inner tribal to dance and have fun like no one's watching john come on up toshka just a reminder tomorrow before the first grand entry we're going to have Indigenous performances here in the Tingley, starting at 10 a.m. We'll also have Ryan Little Eagle, also the Master's Touch Indigenous Gospel from Oklahoma. And we'll have the noon grand entry. Yours truly will be host for that. Rust, Cricket, Brandy.
Cricket or Randy? Backup singers, Nijoda Musquanke Nation, Mighty Marty Pinecoos. Brother, been a long time. Fawn Wood, if you're up, can you hear us? Would you come up? You're also Fawn. Cricket or Randy, where are you at, brothers? Abrina Directors. Randy, Randy, up here. Looks like you got a second. Oh, everybody, we got one of them up and coming, uh, running up on TikTok. Sun Shields, if you got a chance on TikTok, you can check out, he's got his handle. Pawnee Boy. So look him on up on TikTok. Pawnee Boy. Back to you, Ruben. All right. Thank you very much, Jason. Cricket and Randy's looking over our group here. We'll see what we got. We're either going to go one group, one song, or two groups, one song each. One group. One group, two songs. So we'll stick in rotation with Meskwaki Nation for the first song. They'll be judged on it. Jermaine, come here. All right. So we got two invite drums, which is uh, Otter Trail and Meskwaki Nation. And Meskwaki Nation right now will get judged with the singing judges for the straight song, and they will also sing the change-up song, and they won't be judged on that, okay? Sounds good to me. Good call by our head singing judge. AD says one group, two songs, and we'll go to the Meskwaki Nation. We'll give you guys a little bit of a breather. So Meskwaki Nation, here we go. Take it away for our premier men chicken dancers.
Mercy, mercy me. Thank you, Muscogan Asian song number one. Gentlemen, we're going to have a second song rendered once again. We'll come back to Muscogee Nation. These boys represent the chicken dance society style of the proud Blackfoot, Blackfeet Nation, the Southern Clay, Plains Cree tribes, and we are represented, my friends. And we're going to come back to Meskwaki Nation because they're an invite drum for that second song. That song there they were judged on won't be judged on this second song. And then right after this song, Women's Southern Buckskin Standby and Blazing Bear. I'm not sure where we're at on the judging you, uh, Spud and uh, Jermaine. Let us know when you're through with them singing judges, man. They've been doing a great job, and we surely appreciate it. All right, we are ready for song number two. Judges, you know what to do. Take it around the circle. Musquaki Nation, one more time if you would. How about a round of applause one more time? Line them up. Dancers, uh, move over to the east side. It's a large group, and they want to get you on that line over there if you'd help us out. Gentlemen, thank you. Once again, in the meantime, we'd like to get our beautiful, lovely, graceful women's southern buckskin come on out. Vince. Mr. Jason Whitehouse is still in the house. Where you at, brother? Oh, I'm right over here. I'm uh, with Mr. Patrick Mitzewing. You guys have seen YouTube. You've seen Pow Wow Times. He's uh, coming down from the upper 13, up from Canada, coming on down, visiting us. So I ask him how things are going. How you been? How are Pow Wow Times going? Things are going good, Jay. Thanks for coming out and, you know, giving me a chance to talk about Pow Wow Times. And, you know, Canada is... Uh, Still a mix of all the seasons right now. One day it's winter, one day it's spring. But uh, all the powwows are starting to pick up in uh, Canada. So a whole powwow trail is looking like that's what's in the horizon. Yeah. 
Oh, get things, good things on the horizon. You heard it right here from Mr. Patrick Mitzewing. Power times, back to you, Vince. All right, thank you very much, Jason. One group, one song, is that right? Cricket, are we ready? Or hold on, singing judges ready? I also want to give a shout out to the Gathering of Nations of the North, and that is up in Onion Lake, Saskatchewan, July 15, 16, and 17. Write those dates down if you're looking for a good powwow right on the border of Alberta and Saskatchewan, Onion Lake, Cree First Nation in July. Uh, who? All right, we're going to be coming down the line here to Blazing Bear. As soon as we get the high sign from Cricket and Randy, they're going with one group, one song, and they are ready to go. Are the singing judges over there for still doing our contest? Jermaine, Spud, hold up. Hold up. We got a few more categories, and it's going to be a wrap for this unbelievable Friday evening session. We started out at 12 noon here with our dancing competition. We got quite a bit accomplished here throughout this afternoon and the evening, and we're going to be showcasing and crowning a brand new Miss Indian World. All right. Ladies, have yourselves a great time out there, and we take it over to Blazing Bear. it up girls and thank you very much once again Blazing Bear for that beautiful song for these beautiful ladies right here the finest in our women's southern buckskin and now at this time we'd like to get our uh, grass dancers come on out men's grass 
and Black Eagle Singers, proudly representing the Hamas Pueblo. Gentlemen, you'll have the honors of this song right here. And then we're going to kick it on over here to Ruben, take you down for the next three categories, and then we'll be finishing out our last three or four. Man, we're on the clock, and we cannot say enough for all you judges that have been called upon, our dance judges and our singing judges doing a good job. Get us through a good Friday night evening. We'll get out of here fairly early, get you a good night's rest, and we'll open these doors back at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and lay it down one more time and take us right into SNL Saturday Night Live. Cricket, look at over there and let us know what you think. Grass dancers, once again, come on out. We'll either go with one group, two songs. Last call, grass dancers, men's grass, all the way around the circle. These guys give you a good look over. We'll either go one group, two songs, or we'll split you up. All right, looks like we're going to go with two groups. Group number one, be dancing to Black Eagle. Lightning Horse Stand By. Hold up. Iron, Iron Star, you'll have group number one, and then Black Eagle will come back to you for this group number two. And that decision is being made by the head singing judge, Jermaine Bell. Cool. Two songs once again. Whenever you boys are ready, all right. Here we go, Iron Star.
And how about a round of applause? Thank you once again, Iron Star. All right. Group number two, come on out, boys. This is group one. Group two, come on out. And we're going to be asking those singing judges. Our children are sacred to us, and when they first come into our home, we welcome them. When children are happy and feel wanted, they grow to be very, very strong. Today, we must protect our children. It does not matter what tribe we are from or where we live. We all know how important our children are to our cultures. That's why we protect them from severe illness, hospitalization, and even death from COVID by getting them vaccinated. Everyone five and older is eligible for a COVID vaccine. Hold up. One song, one group. Spud, are we done with our Southern judges here? Okay. All right, gentlemen, here we go. Group number two, Black Eagle. How about a round of applause one more time, and thank you very much, Black Eagle, for that beautiful song. Now at this time, we'd like to get our Women Northern Club. Come on out, and Lightning Horse stand by. All right, we have a, uh... thank you, Vincent. Uh... Wicked Dance in there, group number two. Myself, I would have been liked in group number one. <laughs> that was a stat goo. Hey, tomorrow, Grass Dancers, excuse me, not tomorrow, Sunday, Arthur Schrock, right? Arthur, he said we're sponsoring a Grass Dance special 18 years and up. And that's on Sunday. Five places, five consolations, and other guests, UNM Johnson Field, Sunday, May 1st. 18 and older memorial for Arthur Kuntz Schrock, Schrock II. Thank you, Arthur. All right. Calling into the Arena Women's Northern Cloth. Singing for you, Lightning Horse, are you there? All right, stand by. 
Lightning Horse. Lightning Horse, stand by, and then right after the Northern Cloth, we'll be asking our women's fancy. Start getting ready. We're ready to go. Lightning Horse, contest song, please. Men's Northern Fancy, you're coming up right after the Women's Fancy.